Start adding a unique woodwind palette to your music with Spitfire Audio's latest originals library, Rare Flutes. As of this recording right now, this is brand new and just dropped today. I was actually recording another video when I saw this release. So of the originals that we have, we don't really have too many wind libraries other than the epic brass and woodwinds. So I'm really excited to check this one out. This is gonna be a collection of flutes from all over the world and performed by Andy Finden. And of course it's gonna be for that classic originals price of $29. Now I do wanna point out that this library does contain existing sample content. This is gonna have sounds from the now retired Andy Finden kit bag one and two libraries. So what that means is that if you already own those libraries, then you can actually get rare flutes for free. And so before we check this out, I just wanna give you my free Film Composer recipe book. This is a PDF download that goes over the basics of action, horror, fantasy, by breaking down each genre into the four main ingredients of music, melody, harmony, rhythm, and orchestration. Again, this is absolutely free and it's designed to get you writing your music quickly. So if you are interested, I left a link in the description down below. So once you download and purchase the Rare Flutes, this is gonna be the user interface and this is actually gonna be very similar to a lot of the other originals from Spitfire. We're gonna have our expression and modulation faders, but then we also have our knobs for reverb, release, tightness, and vibrato controls. And you can of course assign these knobs and faders to whatever MIDI CC you want. And then originals libraries tend to vary on the kind of mic signals that we get. So with Rare Flutes, we're gonna get the close in room mics, but then also this super reverb signal, which I'm super excited to hear. And then checking out our presets, we're gonna get 16 long and short articulations across eight different instruments. So we have the Chinese bamboo flute, the Fujara, the Ocarina Mids, the Bansuri, the Chinese Membrane Flute, the Ocarina Lowe's, Pan Pipes, and the Contra Bass Flute. And what's nice is that you can actually filter your search by starred instruments, highs, longs, lows, mids, and shorts, and you can of course create your own user preset. So this is just gonna start off with the default long Chinese bamboo flute. Really, really nice, wow. So that is gonna be mostly close, all room, and a little bit of super reverb. I kinda wanna just hear what super reverb sounds like on its own, and then we can blend together. So right now it's 30%. Oh yeah, that is, it's, it's the room, well, it's a super reverb, I don't know how else to <laughs> explain it, but wow, it just, super widespread, really, really ambient. And the little description down here says, an analog process super reverb signal for a distant and shimmering sound. Okay, that's the perfect way to describe it. Let's see what Room says. A stereo pair of Room microphones for a tight and focused sound, and then a close microphone for a clear and detailed sound. Okay, yeah, I really do love close mics because they really do offer that, that clarity that we might not hear with just regular Room mics, but oh, that super reverb was great. All right, let's bring in room. Oh, wow. It's just so funny because in comparison to the super reverb, that room mic sounds so clear. So let's just add in the close signal as well. Oh, so cool. And yeah, the reverb actually isn't that much. It's 20% with a little bit of super reverb. The release is 50. Uh, we don't have access to tightness or vibrato with this. So let's check out the short Chinese bamboo flute. I wonder. Yep. So another thing to keep in mind with a lot of originals, um, we see this with their pianos and a lot of just the, any shorts, staccatos, things like that. The mod wheel changes the control over the dynamic layers. So if it's gonna be all the way down, it's gonna be based on how hard you press the note. But then if you raise the mod wheel all the way up, no matter how hard you hit, it's gonna give you a loud sound. 
and then bring it all the way down. I'm gonna hit it softly. And that's hard. Next up is gonna be Fujara longs. And so with this long articulation, we're gonna have access to that reverb and release, and now vibrato. And it looks like it's the same kind of blend between close, room, and super reverb signals. So let's just hear what it sounds like out of the box. Ooh. Let's hear with a little bit of vibrato. So nice. Let me actually just hear what the close mic sounds like just by itself. And so something to keep in mind with this particular library and the different signals that they provide, you have so much control over the sound that you can get. So if you want that close up detailed sound, you can take off the reverb, take away the room and super reverb signal and just get that super crisp sound. But then you can of course go the other way and add in all the reverb that you want. You can add in super reverb, the room, take away the close mic, and let's see what you get. And it becomes a super ambient library. So let's check out the short Fujara. Ooh. All right, yeah, so that's gonna have four different round robins so that every time you press, you might get a little different sound, which is gonna be super nice. And I think that's what adds to the sense of realism. It adds to the production value of this library. And it creates this like off-putting sound. And those dynamic layers are really noticeable here. It's really like soft and beautiful here, but then, Wow, really cool. Then we're gonna have the long ocarina mids. So let's just hear what that sounds like. I really love the sound of that release too, cause it's not too much reverb. What if we were to give it just all the reverb? What would that be like? Am I going a little too much with this? It's just all super reverb all the time. Let's take away close in room. Oh, that's nice. I like that better. Really, really cool. And then let's take away reverb altogether. Turn off super reverb. Let's just hear what close sounds like. That is just such a dry, dry sound. And you can use that with any kind of reverb, any kind of plugin that you want really, because it's so clear. And then let's try short Ocarina mid. And 
add a little bit of super reverb. That's like a really pure sound. The Long Bensuri. So it does seem like we're just the, the blend is kind of consistent throughout. Close room super reverb is 70%, 100%, and then 30. Yeah, so with that one, you're really gonna wanna mess with the expression. Otherwise, if it's all the way up, it just kinda is a little too aggressive. I guess it depends on the kind of music you're writing. And then we have the short. Then we have the long Chinese membrane flute. And short version of that. And then we have the long ocarina low. Looks like it is about an octave lower. That's nice. Just an octave, but we get the idea. And so then now we have the short ocarina. Oops. Uh, let's try the long pan pipes. Bring it down a little bit. Really beautiful. Then short pan pipes. And I think there is one more instrument after, but I'm not too sure. So let's just bring it down a little bit. Really beautiful range too. All right, so it's that D. All right, not a bad range at all. And then I think last but not least, contrabass flute. So this is our long. That was maybe one of my favorites. I think out of all the flutes, it, this was definitely a real melodic instrument, you know? I almost want to hear just super reverb again. Let's bring that up a bit. Amazing. 
amazing. And let's take off the reverb, add in close and room, and let's make it completely dry. Really, really incredible. You can do so much just with that sound alone. You have so much control over how you want your flutes to sound. And then let's just do the last articulation, the short contrabass flute. Um, and we haven't looked into tightness, so let's just play with that as well. But just keep in mind that according to our little blurb down here, this cuts further into the note to make it tighter, but does reduce realism. <laughs> Let's make it zero tightness. And let's make it. Okay, I hear the difference. Yeah, so 50 is probably a good spot. Really nice. And so I believe that was all 16. All right, fantastic. So let me know in the comments below, do you plan on picking up this library? And if so, how do you plan on using it in your music? And you know, I gotta say that originals are probably my favorite Spitfire products because they're so budget friendly and they actually sound good. They're, they're just these professional and high quality libraries that make it so easy for anyone to start writing music. You could be a student, you could be an educator, you could be a professional in the industry. Originals are just these great resource for you to create these convincing mock-ups. Now, if you do wanna learn more about some other Spitfire Originals, then definitely check out some of my walkthrough videos next. I'll see you over there, and as always, happy composing.